All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, so I really wanted to get this video done during the day today, but that didn't happen. So I'm going to be doing it at night. So this is the new Rev C, uh, the Pixel Pie hat. Uh, and as you can see, it adds a real-time clock to it. So we've got the, the real-time clock battery, the real-time clock chip, and the crystal uh, to, keep, to keep the time on it. And then it's also got a buck converter added to it as well to lower the voltage from 12 down to 5 for those of y'all with 12 volts that want to use uh, power the pile for it as well. So you can see this just got one power input coming in on the front over there. Um, and then the power data and ground headed out to the actual pixels themselves. Uh, the good news on this one, and Daryl posted a video earlier, for those that already ordered the Rev uh, B board, we're, we're just going to run the Rev C board. So everybody's going to get a free upgrade. Uh, all the work that I did upgrading the, the board to put those components on it, you'll get those You'll get the, the upgraded board for free. Uh, just the components will be an additional cost if we, if you source the components yourself, or if when if and when we run a deluxe version of this has all those added components on it, we'll, we'll put out a different price on it. But for the thirteen dollar price that you already got, you've got the ability to add those extra components if you want. The core functionality of the board will come the same as it was going to come for the Rev B. You'll just be able to add those extra parts. So. Pretty cool little free upgrade there. Uh, all the holes will be drilled and all the layouts will be marked so you can add whichever option you actually need. You can just order it from Mounser. So if you need the butt converter, you store the butt converter. Uh, if you don't need it and you're using five volts, but you do need the real-time clock, then you just order the three parts for the real-time clock. So worked out pretty well. That way the whole, the whole everybody comes out to where they can use the, the, the Pixel Pie hat. And we don't have to make different versions of it for 12 volt and 5 volts and some with an RTC and some without an RTC. So, you know, it's just one solid version that everybody can use. Uh, just different options that you can add to it. Uh, so getting back to the point of this video. So what I've got here is I've just got it running off of Wi-Fi. And it's running in remote mode. So uh, what I, my plan is I'm going to take this year and create like nine more of these matrix and put them across my window sills. Uh, that, that's the plan anyway, don't hold me to it, but, uh, so all I've really got coming over to this guy, and this is the same way it'll be in my display, is just power input. Just got power and ground input coming into the 5 volt, uh, or the power distribution board, and then all those lines going right over here. Uh, you know, no, no trickery, no nothing, it's just straight over into the, the matrix itself, so this thing will just be standalone by itself. I'll put it in a enclosure and just hang it from the bottom of the window. Uh, don't have to run Cat5 to it. Don't have to run anything to it. it is, and it's running in remote mode, and I'll show you what that is in just a second. Uh, and that background noise you hear is actually my, my main control box here. And inside the main control box, of course, I've got J1 says P12, uh, ECG P2, uh, and then I've got a Raspberry Pi. Now, those of you who are clever probably notice there's two Pis stacked on top of each other. The bottom one is actually, I've got it set up as a wireless router. Uh, and the wireless antennas coming out over here. So, and then I've got my little five port switch here going to all these different controllers. So that's the master pie. That's the brains of the operation when we run the show. And I've got this little speaker just sitting here so I can hear sound, but that is the master. The master is going to talk to the remote, to the remote pie wirelessly. So all that'll happen over uh, the Wi-Fi antennas. So I won't have to actually have Cat5 running out of the network over to this guy. It'll sync up to it. Now I'm gonna show you what that looks like on computer. We're gonna shut this though, because those power supplies are annoying. All right, and there's the matrix. So back over here on my desk, I've got. And let's see if we can get these to focus at all. Maybe there we go. So over here on the left, I've got the uh, the Pi player set up as a master, and you can see that right there where it says master. And then over here on my other one, I've got it set up as a remote. So that's the one that's hooked up to the matrix. And this is the one over here that's in my little black box. So master and remote. So when I hit play on this master, and we'll just hit repeat, it should sync up wirelessly to that remote. So we'll hit play here. And you'll see it start playing up there. And then if we look over here on the remote, it's doing the same thing. So it synced it right up to it. So syncing to master. So it's reading what the master is telling it to do and it's putting it out. So if we go back over here now, you can see it's running. Some hot cocoa, grab a grandma to the mall. We go, and there's a man outside with a bucket and a bell. What's the go? 
Yep. That whole thing is running wirelessly off of that pie. So down there on the floor, I've got the Raspberry Pi, power distribution board, Pixel Pi hat, and that is running that entire matrix. And that is just one output, by the way. I could have a second output as well. So what I'll probably do is run two windows off of each one of these things. Uh, let me turn down that volume. There we go. Uh, yeah, so what I'll probably do is run two windows off of each one of these. Uh, maybe more, but I doubt it because the cost-wise is so small. Uh, let's see, what have I got invested into that entire control system down there? So uh, about $12 roughly for the Pixel Pie hat. Or no, $13 for the Pixel Pie hat. And then I've got another uh, $12 for the, the power distribution boards. So that's 25 bucks right there for those two. And then I add a Pi to it. Uh, that's a Raspberry Pi B+. Plus. I add that Pi to it, and that Pi brings my total up to $45. Uh, then I add a Wi-Fi dongle for about 10 bucks, $55. SD card and uh, USB stick. That's probably, I don't know, Amazon, maybe another $15. So what are we up to now? About 60 bucks. 60 bucks gives me entire control for 12 universes. And not just entire control like a typical uh, pixel controller, but this gives me wireless control. Uh, it's not actually sending the E131 data over wireless. That's not what it's doing at all. It's uh, sending it, it's syncing it up. So each one of those has got the sequence file on them, uh, both the master pie and the one down here on the floor. And it's syncing those two sequences together. So it knows when the master is starting, it's, it's time for it to start that sequence on the remote as well. Uh, and I think after talking with Dave Pitts, either not, it's going to be, uh, you are not going to be, you can, and people did apparently last year, uh, run up to, you know, 256 of these little remote pies just out in the yard. So that, that's pretty amazing to me. So now that we can control pixels from it as well, we can run a remote pie with pixel control, everything contained in one little unit, uh, all for under, you know, 65 bucks, $65 or so for 12 universes. So. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I, I'm amazed by it. So just to kind of walk you through it one more time. Over here on the computer, we have the master that's running the sequence. And then we also have the remote right here. So I can log into either one of them. Both have, them, have their own IP address. I can log right into them uh, wirelessly. And I'm, I'm wireless right now from my PC. So my, my computer's just wireless over to them. Uh, so I'm, I'm on Wi-Fi, on my home Wi-Fi, and then it's talking to the master, which is located here, of course. That master. And then that master is talking wirelessly. It's talking wired to the traditional style E131 controllers and sending data out of those as well to control, you know, Pixel Tree or uh, my roof line is what that one's going to, for example. So it's doing all that, and then of course your speaker or FM transmitter comes right out of that. The master plays all of that stuff. And then the master's talking wirelessly over here to this guy. And this guy is powering and sending data out to this guy. So pretty stoked about that. Uh, gives me the ability to add a lot more to my show this year for not a lot of price. Uh, really cool little DIY project. So, check it out if you get an opportunity. The Pixel Pie hat's available on Daryl's uh, website at Crockett uh, Fantasy of Lights. And then the power distribution board. Currently, the, the group buy on it is closed, but it'll be, we'll have it for sale again sometime this year, I'm sure. So, check them both out. Have a good one.